welcome back to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. Where today I'm talking about Serial Experiments Lane. This is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on that series. Anyway, in this video I'll be talking about human connection, which is one of the major themes of the show. Now this is interesting because this theme is not revealed until episode 11, or layer 11, in pornography. Up until that point, it seems like the theme of the series is that the real world and the wired are basically two sides of the same coin, and that the physical world is basically unimportant compared to the intellectual, idea-driven world of the wired. In pornography shows us that Alice has really been Lane Center, both Lane the show and Lane the character. Most of Lane's positive memories are from going out on the town with Alice and her friends. Indeed, it was Alice bringing Lane to Siberia that first awakened Lane's wired powers. Moreover, Lane probably wouldn't even have known about Cheese's email if Alice hadn't taken an interest in Lane and walked over to this shy girl and talked to her. The entire plot of the series is kickstarted by Alice's interest in Lane. This is demonstrated by looking at what causes Lane pain. It is disconnection from her parents or from Alice. You can see this particularly in that terribly painful sequence where Lane goes to get a drink from the fridge and talks to her parents about those strange things that the guy from Touch Upon a Lab said, and her parents are very cold. And it's a, you, you can see how much that affects Lane. And then when Lane of the Wired starts the rumor about Alice's relationship with her teacher, when Alice confronts Lane, Lane is clearly very upset by this. Alice immediately forgives Lane and, and believes that Lane wasn't a part of it. But Lane is very, very much upset by that and then begins to investigate and find out what's going on. It's a, really a turning point for Lane as a character because of these human connections that she has made. One thing I appreciate is that the writers don't attempt to present some deep scientific explanation for this need for human connection. Alice simply points out to Lane in that sequence in episode 12, by the way, was it just me or was there a weird sort of Yuri feel to that sequence when Alice is, is next to Lane and Lane comes up next to Alice and they put the hands on their hearts. It's, I don't know, it felt a little sexual to me. Maybe that's just me. In any event, in that sequence, Alice just points out that we have this connection to other people. We respond to face-to-face -face connection. This is demonstrated in layer 12. Lane points out that Eri, for all of his talk about not needing a body, appears to Lane with the body. He actually has a human figure. He could show himself in any way, but he appears with a human figure. After they pass over, there's something inhuman about them. Chisa is very cold. The gunman is very flippant, when, in a way that seems more than their standard personalities would allow. They've lost something human. Of course, the big piece of evidence comes in the final episode, where Lane is a complete mess. She's lost, she's confused, and she's absolutely miserable. Why? Because she's cut off from humanity. She has no face-to-face -face reality with anyone. And the way she finally finds peace is with a simple face-to-face -face conversation with Alice. Nothing complex, nothing deep, no huge revelations to each other about their personality or anything like that. Lane just needs some face-to-face -face time, and don't we all? 